Welcome to Planet Subaru, one of the largest Subaru showrooms in the world and the first powered entirely by the sun. Today we're introducing the 2018 Subaru Legacy, which is Subaru's full-size sedan. They also make a sedan in Impreza form, which is the smaller one. To aid in the comparison with the 2018 Legacy, though, I've parked a 2017 beside it. So this generation was introduced in 2015. So the 15, 16, and 17 Legacy are going to be indistinguishable. And in the fourth year of Subaru's five-year product cycles for its volume products, Subaru makes some pretty comprehensive revisions to keep the car looking fresh and to make sure that all of its features remain competitive. So this 2018 Legacy will carry through to 2019 and we'll see a all new 2020 Legacy sometime in the calendar year 2019. So back to the two cars here, you can see right away that we have some fascia changes, which is a fancy way of saying the front end. You can see that grill's a little different, bumper cover's different, headlights are different. We'll get to those a little later. Moving around to the back, I'll show you the bumper cover has been changed and also the placement of the exhaust pipe. So right now we're looking back at the 2015 through 2017 model, moving to the brand new 2018. So you can see the bumper cover and the exhaust pipe are different there. To improve performance, Subaru engineers revised the electric power steering, the suspension, and the brakes. They also made some improvements to the available driver assistance technologies, which include the blind spot detection system. First, I'm going to show you the 2017 version of that system. There's a light on both the left and the right exterior mirrors that illuminates when a car is in your blind spot. I'm pointing to it right here. I'm going to get inside the car and show you what it looks like when it's illuminated. The light illuminates when you start the car as a test indicator. So even though I don't have a car in the blind spot right now, you'll get a chance to see what the light looks like. There it is lit up. And now it just turned off. So now I'm going to show you how that looks on the 2018 version. To make the light more conspicuous, Subaru moved the light from the mirror glass the inside of the mirror housing. They also made it a lot bigger. Take a look. You can see it's just a lot easier to notice as the car is in your blind spot. Next I want to show you the first ever steering responsive headlights on a Legacy. The steering responsive headlights on eyesight equipped cars respond to steering wheel input and pivot left and right as the steering wheel goes left and right so you can illuminate corners better. Without attaching a camera to the front of the car in motion, I can give you a little taste of what it looks like. Just when you start up the car, you get some movement that'll show you the pivoting action. You can see that LED module turning a little bit, and that's what it does when you're driving down the road. Now to the engine. The engine remains a 2.5 liter, four cylinder, normally aspirated boxer engine generating 175 horsepower. Although Subaru retuned the ECU to get smoother performance from the continuously variable automatic transmission, so you'll notice smoother shifting on the highway. To reduce noise in the cabin, Subaru introduced an ultra-short pitch chain for the continuously variable transmission. They also added acoustic glass for the front windows and restyled the exterior mirrors to reduce wind noise. And finally, they thickened the aprons, which separate the rear wheels from the inside of the cabin, and that limits the transmission of sound from outside the car to inside. Next, we'll take a look inside the cabin. Subaru introduced some more premium materials into the cabin. You'll see some nice stitching on the dash. Also a new steering wheel with piano black inserts, 
You'll see that same detail show up around the console there, the shifter. They also reworked the infotainment system. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard for the first time in a legacy. There's also a faster CPU, so the touchscreen responds more quickly to input, so it's much like a smartphone now. On the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system, you can see that the temperature has been moved inside the knob for the dual system, which makes it a lot easier to figure out and do at a glance. And Subaru also increased the size of the clock there, too. Outward visibility remains outstanding in part because of these partition windows that allow you to see by the generously sized rear view mirrors and that's especially important for shorter drivers who would otherwise have difficulty seeing past them. Subaru is famous for their airy greenhouses and generous use of glass because they recognize how important visibility is to safety. Interior and exterior dimensions remain the same, which is good news for legroom fans because this limousine-like space for your passengers does not change. The seats also fold down, which give you a lot of flexibility in the trunk, so we'll show you how that works. The trunk remains generously sized, and with the seats folded down, it's positively enormous. And it's surprising how much stuff you can cram back there. Please visit planetsubaru.com for a dedicated legacy page loaded with a lot more detail than we can fit in a single video. Or visit us in Hanover, Massachusetts, and we'll give you an opportunity to drive the car and answer any questions you may have. Thanks for watching.